during Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Harry and Hermione wander through the forest of Dean when a Patronus in the shape of a doe leads Harry to the frozen lake where he finds the sword of Godric Gryffindor. Later during the events of Part 2, we see the late Professor Snape's memories and see that it was actually Snape who cast a doe Patronus. But why is Snape's Patronus a doe? The same as Lily's. The Patronus is the most famous, and famously difficult, defensive charm. The aim is to produce a silvery white guardian or protector, which takes the form of an animal. The exact form of the Patronus will not be apparent until the spell has been successfully cast. One of the most powerful defensive charms known to wizardkind, the Patronus can also be used as a messenger between wizards. As a pure, protective magical concentration of happiness and hope it is the only spell effective against Dementors. The majority of witches and wizards are unable to produce Patronuses and to do so is generally considered a mark of superior magical ability. No reliable system for predicting the form of an individual's Patronus has ever been found, although the great 18th century researcher of charms, Professor Catullus Spangle, set forth certain principles that are widely accepted as true. In his masterwork, Charms of Defense and Deterrence, a book containing information on the Patronus charm, he wrote, the Patronus represents that which is hidden, unknown but necessary within the personality. For it is evident that a human confronted with inhuman evil, such as the Dementor, must draw upon resources that he or she may never have needed, and the Patronus is the awakened secret self that lies dormant until needed, but which must now be brought to light. The form of a Patronus may change during the course of a witch or wizard's life. Instances have been known of the form of the Patronus transforming due to falling in love or profound shifts in a person's character. Thus Nymphadora Tonks's Patronus changes from a rabbit to a wolf when she falls in love with Remus Lupin. Snape has virtually only one consistent positive trait. Undying love for Lily Potter. After her death, Snape pledged his loyalty not to Dumbledore or Harry, but to her memory. His entire life since childhood has been impressing, courting, chasing, and dreaming about Lily. Snape loved Lily. This caused his Patronus to take the form of hers. Lily's Patronus was a doe, and Snape knew this. Snape was in love with Lily, and always has been. So he adopted the doe Patronus. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. It also probably has something to do with the memory Snape uses to cast the Patronus, most likely the memory has something to do with Lily. Now the spell I'm going to try to teach you is called the Patronus Charm. Did you ever hear of it? No? Well, the Patronus is a kind of positive force, and for the wizard who can conjure one, it works something like a shield with the Dementor feeding on it, rather than him. But in order for it to work, you need to think of a memory any memory, a very happy memory, a very powerful memory. When Snape's changed his allegiance from Voldemort to Dumbledore he did so expressly because he wanted to honor Lily's memory by protecting Harry. It was Dumbledore himself who persuaded him to take this course of action. When it all comes down to it, no matter what he's done to atone for his mistakes and how many times he's bailed Potter out of trouble, Severus Snape remains one of the reasons why Lily Potter is no longer alive, and why Harry Potter is an orphan. Had Severus not eavesdropped and reported to Voldemort about the prophecy regarding the Potters, Voldemort would never have gone after them and used the unforgivable curse on all three members of the Potter family. While Snape obviously regretted it and begged Voldemort to spare Lily at the very least, he still spied and passed on the prophecy to begin with. Snape's loyalty to the Dark Arts ultimately won over his loyalty to the woman he loved in his youth, and he spent the rest of his life trying to make up for it. And that's it for this video. Make sure to like and comment what you wish to see next. If you haven't already, subscribe and click that little bell, so you will get notified whenever we post new content.